glory to God, hallelujah. We just bless the name of Jesus. We honor God and we give him glory. All glory and honor belong to the most high God. And King of glory, we worship you. King of glory, we honor you and we give you glory. Right now, oh God, we cover this environment with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. That as I read the word, O oh God, may you open up our eyes to see in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, Father, we come before you tonight. In the name which is this morning, in the name which is above all name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. That's as we read tonight, O oh God. Lord God, I'm asking you, O oh God, Give us the spiritual understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every demonic spirit right now. We come against every endurance spirit in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of endurance, we bind you right now in the name of Jesus. We bind you right now in the name of Jesus. As I take authority over this airway right now, O oh God, as we study the word of God, we plead the blood of Jesus that there will be no backlash or retaliation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, take all the glory. The glory and honor belong to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we're going to do this morning. We are going to do um, Genesis chapter 42. We should have already finished Genesis. But because of the destruction of the enemy, you know, we are lingering. So Lord, I pray. I pray right now that you will give me the strength to finish this before, before the week is out. Oh God. So we can move on to what is ahead of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Now when we read and um, we recap on, on Genesis, we see where Joseph had found Joseph had found favor in Egypt with Pharaoh and he had rise to power. We also see where the Lord has blessed him with two, two, two sons. And he said that the Lord have made him fruitful in the land where he was afflicted. So sometimes we go through and we pass through affliction. But the, that's the land that the Lord wants us to be fruitful of. If we just hold on and watch the dynamics, all things will work for our good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just as Joseph, just as what we are going through right now, and I remember before the pandemic, I told people that they should get a water, get a dry goods, because there's going to be a time when we wouldn't have it. And here in the word of God, we see where there were seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. But what Joseph had done, he had gathered so much that the, he, they have more than enough. Wherever he could stock the food, he has stocked it so they had more than enough. So we see where um, this 30-year-old man has passed through 13 years, had passed through uh, since he was sold by his brother. He's 30 and it was 13 years that passed by that he was sold by his brother. But what happened? He found favor with Pharaoh. And he had seven plentiful years. Hallelujah. She still ta of Mandara Bosha. She ha he have seventeen um um thirteen plentiful um year when he after he was sell, but seven plentiful year, I'm sorry. Just that was a little distraction. Just as God revealed the year of plenty came. Then, uh, you know, the tax was so innumerous for there were, was much grain. Joseph had to be wise, to be a wise administrator. 
Right now we need to be wise. Right now we need to be wise. Ask God to give us discernment and the wisdom and the knowledge of understanding that we will know what to do. We need to be very skillful. We need to be very strategic. And we need to hear and listen to the word of God. You know, the um, the skill that Joseph has learned in Potiphar's household in the um and and in the royal prison must have been elf, helpful to him during the busy time but in the end god had made joseph to succeed hallelujah so sometimes we don't watch what we are going through because we're going through trial and we face trial but in the head god will allow us to succeed if we just hold on to his unchanging hand in the mighty name of jesus unfortunately i cannot go um, do the live Bible study that I would want to do because a lot of a lot of people really need deliverance. So I have to protect the anointing that is upon my life and I have to protect what God called me to do. So as as the page is on the spiritual maintenance, doing a spiritual cleaning, I just want to just continue to do the will of my father without any distraction because number one is a bible study it's not a prior line you know we need prior we call the administrative office and we make up an appointment so that we can go in and pray so i don't want to be distracted i just want to do the word of god then we come down in you know 41 54 to 55 where there was the seven years of famine as Joseph had won, bad year followed the seven years of plenty. Pharaoh allowed Joseph to un- handle the crisis because he trusts Joseph's leadership. Because Joseph basically was a born leader. And um, he trusts his leadership. So Joseph has enriched the treasury of Pharaoh by selling grain to the Egyptian and all the country. The, 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 um, the whole known world came to Egypt to buy grain in this famine, just as Joseph has testified to Egypt concerning the reality of the true God. So now he was able to testify to all the nation. So I pray the strength of God that what we are doing will be able to testify to all the nation in the mighty name of Jesus. So will we will have no distraction. Hallelujah. So now we are going to read Genesis 42. And I read this word in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I ask you to to dissect the word and give us the spiritual understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. So and I read, "When when Joseph saw that there was grain in Egypt, Jacob said to his son, Why do you look? Look at one another, and he said, "Indeed, I have heard that there is there is grain in Egypt. Go down to the place and buy for us there that we may live and not die." So Joseph's ten brothers went down to buy grain in Egypt, but Jacob did not send Joseph's brother Benjamin with his brother for he said let some um, calamity befall him and the son of israel went to buy grain among those among those who journeyed journeyed for the famine the for the famine was for the famine was in the land of canaan hallelujah so now joseph was the governor over the land and it was as he was sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brother came and bowed down before him with their face to the earth. Joseph saw his brother and recognized them. But he acted as a stranger to them. And he spoke roughly to them. Then he said to them, Where do you come from? And they said to him, from the land of Canaan to buy food. So Joseph recognized his brothers, 
but they did not recognize him. <clears throat> then Joseph remembered the dream which he had dreamed about them. And he said to them, You are spies. You have come to see the nakedness of the land. And they said to him, No, my Lord, but your servant have come to buy food. We all are one man's son. We are honest men. Your servant are not spies. Yeah, they are honest men, and the servant has not come to spy. But he said to them, this is the same one that tried to kill him and put him in the pit. Mm -hmm. Never, never abandon your, your small beginning because you never know. But he said to them, no, but you have come to see the nakedness of the land. And they said, your servant are twelve brothers, the son of one man in the land of Canaan. And in fact, the youngest is with our father today, and one is no more. But Joseph said to them, It is as I spoke to you, saying, You are a spy. In this manner you shall be tested. But the life of Pharaoh... You shall not leave this place unless your youngest brother come here. Send one of you and let them bring your young your brother, and you shall be kept in prison, that your word may be tested to see to see whether there is any truth in you or else by the life of fear, surely you are spies. My God. By the life of Pharaoh, surely you are spies. Mm. Surely you are spies. My God. I have a lot of spies on the page. My God. Mm. So he put them all together in the prison three days. Then Joseph said to them, The third day, do this and live. For I fear God. If you are honest man... Let one of your brother be confined to your prison house, but you go and carry grain, carry grain for the famine of you, to your of your house, and bring your youngest brother to me, so your word will be verified, and you shall not die. And they did so. Then they said to one another. We are truly guilty concerning our brother. For we, we, we saw the anguish of his soul when he pleaded with us and we would not hear. Therefore, this distress has come upon us. It called backlash. It called backlash. And Reuben answered them saying, Did I not speak to you saying, do not sin against uh, against against the boy, and you would not listen. Therefore, behold, his blood is not required of us. But they did not know that Joseph understood them, for he spoke to them through an interpreter, and he turned himself away from them, and he wept. Then he returned to them again and talked with them, and he took Simon from them and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph gave a command to fill their sack with grain, to restore every man money to his sack, and to give them provision for the journey. Thus he did for them. So they loaded their donkey with their grain and departed from there. But as one of them opened his sack to give his donkey feed of the encampment, he saw his money. And there it was in the, in the mouth of the sack. So he said to his brother, My money has been restored. 
and there, there it is in there it is in my sack. Then their hearts failed them, and they were afraid, saying to one another, "What is is this God has done to us?" Then they then they went to Jacob their father, in the land of Canaan. And told him all that had happened to them, saying, The man who is the Lord of the land spoke roughly to us and took us for spies of the country. But we said to him, We are honest men, we are not spies. We are twelve brothers, son of, of our father. One is no more. They're talking that, that Joseph is dead. One is no more and the youngest is with the father this day. In the land of Canaan. We read this again. Then the man, the Lord of the country said to us, By, by this, I will know that you are honest men. Yes, we read that. Then it happened that they emptied their sack, that suppressingly each man bound of money, was in his sack, we read that, and when their father saw the bundle of money, they were afraid. And Jacob their father said to them, You have bereaved me. Joseph is no more. Simon is Simon is no more. And you want to take Benjamin? And all these things are against me. Then Reuben spoke to his father, saying, Kill my two son, saying, "Kill my two son, if I do not kill my two son, if I do not bring him back to you, put him in the end, and I will bring him back to you." But he said, "My son shall not go down, go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If any calamity." Should befall him along the way in which you go, then your word bring down my gray ear with sorrow to the grave. Now, if when we look, when we look at, um, here's a reading of the Holy Word of Genesis chapter 42. Now, when we look at the Holy Word, um, do you have anything to say before I? Start dissecting this word and what the Lord has given unto me. Okay, um Allah Bashaya. Yes, let me um, come on, I have to speed up. They were honest. After they, they knew that they had they had um been very wrong with their brother. And yet they are they are claiming now that they are honest men. And um, so we have to see how honesty. Mm-hmm. Honesty is in the, in the eye of the beholder. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. They claim they are honest men. Yes, look what they had done. Done to their brother. And and even to their father, because their father, they know that their father loved Love him very much. And look what they had done, and now they are classifying themselves as honest men. Yes. You see, that's what, when people do wrong, and the Bible can never lie, and the Bible will never go stale. When people don't do wrong, they still want to be right. You know? Because if we look at verse 1 in Genesis 42, Jacob said, Jacob has said to his son, by this time Judah had returned to Jacob. And you see where Benjamin, Jacob still play, uh, play his favorite. Because I think J- Benjamin was the last born. However, there was still, there, there, oh, there were, there is no mention of jealousy among the other brother that he had, that, that they, they had before. So when they reach into Egypt, they bore before Joseph. God fulfilled the dream, Masa de Bokaya, and gave Joseph the age of 17. When Joseph 
tell them that they were going to serve him. They did not. They, they, that's what get them anger. So what Joseph did, Joseph, as, as he was a stranger, and those men that were standing before Joseph had sold him as a slave 20 years before. Can you imagine? They had yeah. sold him 20 years before. Yet, yet they were his brother. Now suddenly here they were, bowing before him, just as he had dreamed. Joseph's life was now truly the fact that he had, he had named his first son for the, for the gratefulness and his estrangement from the painful memory of his family. Uh-huh. You understand? So what went through Joseph's mind as he recognized that his brothers, that, that those was his brother, no doubt I'm, I'm seeing there was shock and confusion and anger. You know, Joseph may have even spoke to them roughly in order to control his emotion. You know, we never know. But Joseph remembered the dream and released his pent up feeling that he accused his brother of something he knew they did not do. In this, in this way, Joseph was accusing them that they was a spy. So what happened, Joseph now set out to learn whether his brother had changed for the better. Um, would they betray each other when they were under pressure? So he was putting them through a testing mode. You see? So the, uh, so the youngest, as, as it mentioned in verse 13... His younger brother Benjamin, Joseph must have had great difficult hiding his feeling because I believe that he loved he loved Benjamin. Yeah. And one and, and one is and one is no more. When they say one is no more, that means that they thought Joseph is dead. These words must be unbearable to Joseph. Although his brother is supposed to supposedly he was dead. But it was right before their eyes. You see how strategic God is and how God can move? He, they, they, the brother that they throw in the pit. The brother that they thought died. The brother that they thought was no more. He, they were standing in front of him. Uh-huh. You know, they were standing there. Uh-huh. And so twice Joseph accused them of Accuse them of being with, um, being spies, but so, but the brother must have been overcome with fear, you know. So they were standing before a man who was absolutely erotic with the the erotic power, and his word they could be as excuse. So what Joseph did? Joseph the man that Benjamin is full brother. Be brought to him at the time when Benjamin was with Jacob, you know, because remember that Jacob tell him to leave, leave with the brother there. So when they go back now and Joseph didn't even take money, look at, look at the thing that they call forgiveness. Joseph did not even take their money. If we look at verse 8. Here's what it, I found. What is this? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Yeah, so sorry I'm not talking to you tonight. So here is it, if we look at verse 18. Here Joseph gave his brother a clue about who um, who he was. In, in effect, Joseph told them, I fear the one God. If we go back in, in Genesis 41, verse 32, we see where he said he feared he fear the Lord. That is why he tells Pharaoh the exact dream. So, they were truly guilty. The brother realized that they were being punished for what they had, had done to Joseph so many years ago. 17 years ago, you know. So when he when he plead with when he plead with us, the first account 
If we, if we go back to Genesis 37, 18 to 28, I hope you're writing these down. Does not include this detail, you know. But only Reuben had tried to save Joseph. You remember Reuben had tried to save Joseph, you know. Out of that awful day that the other ten brother did. His plan was to rescue Joseph. Was toward when the brother decided to sell him to to the 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 Midianite trader, instead of in, instead of abandoning him in the pit to die. Yeah. You know, his blood, according to Reuben, the brother would be punished for killing Joseph. Yeah. So we see where Joseph had been speaking in Egyptian and an interpreter was translating to the brother even though joseph know the language joseph decided to speak in egyptian so that they could interpret to the brother so the interpreter was translating to the brother and the brother did not suspect that this egyptian official understood understood that what they said in their own language so what joseph did Joseph turned away and was and started to cry. And 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 you know, his emotion went beyond his control. So what he did, he took Simon. Since Reuben, the firstborn son, had been Joseph principal defender or um, years ago, Joseph took Simon the next son as hostage. And what Joseph did, Joseph filled their sack, you know, so they returned with the money and and enabled the brother to come another time for another purchase. Mm. You see you see that? Yes. So so and they and the, Benjamin was now in prison. In prison, yeah, he wore him captive. So now, at the other hand, he accused, he, 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 um, on the other hand, they, they figured they might be accused of stealing the money. Mm-hmm. So the, the, it, it referred to a certain weight of silver, the, the coinage yet, that not being in, um, in, um, invented. So they discover some of their money and they f- they was frightened. The 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 brother they accused God for their trouble. They now accusing God, you know. And them is the one that put the brother into the dungeon. You see that? So what happened? The brother truthfully reported to their father, um, Jacob, that uh, that all that transpired because apparently they have such a good relationship. But if you look at the discovery of the money, the money was in the sack of one of the brother. And if we go back into and look at verse twenty-seven to twenty-eight, because it's Benjamin sack, right? Yeah, let me see, twenty-seven to twenty-eight. But as one of them opened his sack to give give his donkey feed. The encampment he saw his money, and there was in the mouth of his sack. So his brother said, My money had been restored, and there is in my sack. Their heart failed them, and they were afraid. Mm-hmm. That, that, on the other hand, they said, What is this that God has done? So he did not tell which brother have the money in the sack. Mm-hmm. But what I am hap- what I am seeing playing out here is that um backlash. It a backlash because the, the brother report everything to their father. And the discover of the money in the sack, one of the brother could have been explained as a mistake. But now they learn that each man's money was in their sack. 
So all of them, the ten of them money was still in their sack. Mm-hmm. You know? So, you know, he said, you have bereaved me. Jacob grieved, increased. One son was dead. Another was in prison. And now a third was threatened by an Egyptian official. Not knowing the, the Egyptian official is his son. So Joseph now worried and said, Kill my two sons. So Reuben, what Reuben did, seeing that he's the oldest one, he took the lead and he tried to comfort his father just as he tried to stop his brother from hurting Joseph because he was the one that begged him not to hurt Joseph. You know, so he said, J- Joseph is, um, um, Jacob is saying, my son shall not go. Jacob was resolute that he had lost enough son. And he didn't want to, to risk Benjamin his favorite. With sorrow, he said, assure his son that risking the loss of Benjamin in addition to have already lost Joseph, would lead him to depression and cause him to premature death. Hadabashaya. There's a lot of things that can lead us in depression. There's a lot of things that can cause premature death. Mm-hmm. So here is it. You know, tomorrow I will do 43. Here is it. That all of this transpired and they still don't know that they were standing in front of their brother. So when they go back home and telling their father, the father is saying that they're standing between two before an official Egyptian. Not knowing that he's, he's a Canaanite. So I am telling you that it pay. For us to do right. You know we have this Bible study going on. So good. But there was so many. So many things that is going on. That you know as a man of God or a woman of God. It takes tenacity. And it takes the leading of the Holy Spirit. To divert demonic attack divert backlash and you know when i go on i'm not it's an it's not about me it's about my father's business but you find that when i go on they don't people don't come on and you realize that they take it for granted so what you have to do you just have to find another way to give the word of god because the lord wants us to uh, whoever I to hear, let they hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. They don't understand that the devil do not want the word to go out. The devil do not want the word to preach. The devil do not want the word to propagate. So when they come on with all those um, astral project drone, um, you know, stuff like that. And then you have to deal with it. Because it's not just a Bible study, beloved. It's deeper than a Bible study. Um, do you have anything to say? Um, um, I'm saying, look at the coin. We're thinking of the food. Um, Joseph poured up all the money and everything that he had. Mm-hmm. And then he just poured up the money and everything that he had. Mm-hmm. And then he said, I'm not going to give you Yes. Yes, because what? The food was dropped right from the ground. The food was organic. And it, there was no preservative in the food. And, um, you know, I used to buy a lot of beans and stuff from India and from Hong Kong over the years. Because the Lord was preparing me for such a time as this. And I stored the food. 
and it it is still good the beans are still good and everything you know when they tell you that there's certain time and period in church um shelf life with the food after the food expires you still have about six months to a year to get to eat it you know that is why i advise people that want to store food i advise them that you store the food you buy certain food that is in the container that inside of the container is an uh, enamel en- en- enamel inside the container is white once the inside of the container is good you can sir you can store the food in the can for years but once the can is just a just regular can you will have a problem because you will taste the metal of the food in the can so that is why you find in certain part of this country of america you find where people buy the jar the glass jar and they store a lot of things you know what i feel i find myself doing that the lord add me to to can i'm canning a lot of stuff well really really putting them in jar the lord having me put stuff in jar with with um with um with the natural with the natural um um canning salt which is the same salt but it have more more um potent in it to keep whatever you're canning but what i am canning right now i am using oil i'm using sunflower seed oil and just like the tomato i canned some tomato yesterday and i canned some some pepper yesterday so what is what is happening right now all what what joseph has been through is coming to reality and what we have to do we have to watch how we handle a man of god or a woman of god and we have to listen when a man or a woman a true man or a woman of god speak because there is a thing named consequence and we have to deal with the consequence come what may when we don't listen we have to deal with the consequence it cause cause and effect and we have to deal with it so do you have anything to say before I close out I have like seven minutes that you can pray or you can talk. They were saying that Joseph's Joseph dream was accomplished, right? Yes, amen. So amen. It was accomplished because amen. others actually bowed to him. Amen. And in, in the process to Joseph, Joseph de- developed, you know, all this jail time and all of that. Yeah. Yes. You know, develop forgiveness. Yes. And, 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 you know, all those nice qualities. It made him love people. Yes. Become, and, and the thing about it, he got favor even in jail. In jail, he got favor. He, 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 he was like a head. Yeah, well, my dear, when the favor of the Lord is upon your life, no devil in hell. Don't care what they try. God will allow them to go this far. And then what the Lord will do. The Lord will stop them in their track. Trust me on this one. The Lord will do it. You don't have to fight your battle. The battle belongs to the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So all the chakra that trying to go on and... My, on all my, 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 my public page uh, my Bible study page so I'm just asking God right now for a purge that the word shall go forth in the mighty name of Jesus so I think I think by the special grace of God that I'm really going to come on tomorrow because I need to finish Genesis because there is so much that is await us in Exodus and continue to going on. So I pray the God of peace 
as I put this message out here tonight on Genesis um, 42 um, we can check ourselves and we can see where the betrayal and you don't know that the people that you are betraying they might be your destiny helper they might be the one that's going to take you over to Canaan land you know we always singing this song about Canaan land and we always professing Jesus is Lord but we are not doing as unto the Lord and the Lord the, the Lord require for us to do as unto the Lord think about 330 37,000 seconds that the Lord give us that made up one minute and just for us to do something with the breath that he gave us we try to slay each other we try to put each other down we try to sow the vision and we try to do a whole lot but I pray through this medium and discernment that the spirit of God will move and the remnant of God, the people of God, the true remnant, the Lord will move and synchronize and syncopate in the mighty name of Jesus. So, well, let us close out in a very short prayer. Um, if you want to pray, close us out until we meet again tomorrow in the morning because it's now after midnight. So it's a new day. Do you want me to pray or you want to pray? Let me start out and then you finish. I don't have long. Well, go ahead then. You pray then. You can pray. You can pray out. You can close us out. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come one more time before your presence. Just never try and to hear your children cry unto me. Lord, we have studied the word tonight. Give us more further revelation on, the, on your words, Father. As we as Joseph was developed, oh God, in love, in long suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, and faith. My God, so develop our hearts, Father. Develop our virtues in us, Father, that we may receive your blessing. Oh, glory to God. We thank you, Lord, for all the things that have happened to Joseph. Oh, God, it was for his learning, for his edification. Oh, glory to God. And we notice that, oh God, eventually, God had exalted him, move him from rags to riches. Yes, Lord. Because of his, his honor. Yes. Because he was determined that and faithful. He put you before all. Amen. Help us, God, as we go through our tests and trials. Yes. They put you first, Father. Yes, and Lord. What, oh God, we stand flat footed for you. Yes, and Lord. From your father. Hallelujah. God, that it doesn't matter what others think about us, Father. But, oh God, we will be, oh God, honest. Oh, glory to God. Help us, Lord, that all of our sins that we have, we, have, we have committed, oh God, that, oh God, you will bring it to our remembrance, Father. Yes, Help Lord. Us humble ourselves before you. Yes, God. The sins, oh God, that we have committed, draw us closer to you, Father. Oh God, let it humble us. Bring us to our knees that we yes. oh God understand, oh God, what it is to commit sin with yes. forgiving of others. Yes. Glory to God. Bless us, Father. Bless us in our endeavors, Lord. Yes. So we will do, oh God, give us favor. Yes, oh God, Lord. Oh, you gave, you gave Joseph favor in our yeah, Hallelujah. My God, you gave him supernatural. Yes, faith Lord. In all things, God. Yes. You gave him one great. God. Yes, Lord. That was, you gave him your Holy Spirit to interpret dreams. Yes, hallelujah. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Lord we give you your gift in our lives. Yes, Lord. That you perfect our gift. Yes, Lord. Gift in us, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, yes, God. Gift is perfect in us. Yes, Lord. God, we will get your gift. Yes, I run up. And I know. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Oh, glory to God. Bless us and my children. Yes, Lord. Bless my household. 
Yes, bless my children, oh God. Almost finished. Come on, round up. Dear, yes, Lord. In just name, amen.